So this is the Q&A that we promised since like three weeks ago that we never did. But this week we're gonna have proper audio, so that's why we're doing it, finally. How's the time? Let's go with a question. All right, first question is... This one's for you, Max. Since Yas is so cute, how do you handle him if he's troubling you or in an annoying mode? <laughs> Well, that's easy. I can't handle you. Yeah. <laughs> so just need to leave you alone and I'll go do my things. And at some point you'll, you'll get back to yourself. That's a good answer. I can't be tamed. Mm -hmm. For Max, again, have you ever had a girlfriend before you find yourself as a gay man? <laughs> Funny enough, uh, yes I did in high school, second year of high school. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, it did not last for more than two weeks. You know, in high school I was in music, playing drum. There's that girl who was supposed to be a popular girl, I guess. And she came to ask me, hey, do you want to be my boyfriend? Me no not knowing what to say, I, I just like, yeah, sure. And then <laughs> the two weeks after that, I was just avoiding her at all costs because just sometimes like holding hands with her did not feel right. I was like getting sweaty palms and like uh, not comfortable. You had secrets. You were hiding yeah, secrets. Yeah, well, no, I didn't know at that time. You didn't know you were gay? Uh, you know, later on I had a boyfriend in the same year. She probably felt like inside that <laughs> something was wrong with her, but it was me all along. Why was she popular? I got told by a common friend and the other drummer that I was playing with said she was hot. So I was like, okay, I guess she's popular. When did you come out as gay? Well, I came out to my friends in high school, so like 18, but to my family like a couple years after that. If you want to see my coming out video, I'll link it up here. It's really <laughs> fun, really nice. A nice watch for when you're eating breakfast. First came out to my family and it was a rocky ride. I told my parents that I had a girlfriend at the time, again in high school. Was well, it a di different girl or? I mean, it's a fictive one. Oh, right, right. I had a concert coming up. And I told my parents, oh, I'm seeing that girl and she's gonna come to the concert. Little did they know it, it was not a girlfriend that I had, but a boyfriend. And he came to the concert and on the way there, in the car, that's when I dropped the bomb. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, by the way, it's not a girlfriend, it's a boyfriend that I have. PSA to everyone. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Dead silence in the mm -hmm. car. <laughs> and they watched the show right next to him, pucker face the whole time. How did your friends react to your relationship? Were they supportive? Yeah, of course. My friends were very supportive. My friends, they liked him. They liked him a lot. But then in the background, they all whispered to me like, Yeah, I'll break up with him. Don't do it. Don't go to <laughs> Are you serious? No. They all loved you. They better do, otherwise they're cancelled. Do you guys intend to have a human child? At some point. Maybe when I'm around 40. Definitely not now, but one day. I really want to adopt. Max wants his own DNA. But my point of view of that, and I've mentioned this before, it's like why bring a child into this world when there's so much suffering already and there's so many children that are in need? We're nowhere close to the point where we're capable of raising another child. I don't think we're ready. Nowhere near. For now, it's Brutus. Maybe he's gonna get a little brother in the future, but... I'm getting one this Christmas, right? No. You're getting me a puppy. I'm not getting you a puppy. I know there's a puppy. I saw, I saw through your email that you were already emailing an adoption center. You're lying, yes. <laughs> it's not because you say it on the internet that it's true. I want a dog! <laughs> Before you guys met, did you have any celebrity crushes and who? Well, I know yours. Who? Shawn Mendes. Yes. So easy. Me, not really. I'll say it again. Arnold. Arnold Schwarzenegger. But it's a man crush, it's not the same. You don't want to have sex with him. I want to be him. You want to be him. <laughs> that's all. I don't think that's what a crush is. There's not one celebrity that you're like, oh, he's cute. Like, I want to have sex with that one. There was no celebrity that I gagged over and be like... None? None. Really? During all that time, I was in love with myself. Until I found you. Yeah, mine's definitely Sean Mendes. Anyone who's like a Twinkie Jock vibe. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again without sounding too gay. <laughs> Anyone who's like a Twinkie Jock vibe. How did you end up with me then? Oh, well, Twinkie Jock or like Jock Jock, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Max, favorite body part of Yas and Yas same question. Those lips. I thought you were gonna say my I, I'm, I'm staying PG for the channel. We want to stay brand friendly. Your lips and those big puppy eyes. Their contacts. And your small build. Because <laughs> I can swing you around. No, you can't. You swing me around, but then like you sweat a lot. Yeah, you got heavier with time. 
Maybe it's time to get to <laughs> the gym. Maybe it's these arms, hey? <laughs> these arms need to get to work. Maybe it's a little bit of both. You <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> My favorite body part of yours is your... You wanna reiterate that? You wanna go more specific? Your... Oh, I like your big chest. That's more like it. Hey! You hate my face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like your chin. Wow. You could have said you like my eyes. I like your eyes too. When was the last time you were very upset with each other and why? I'm never really upset. Yeah, right. That's such I, a I never get really upset. Because, yes, you do. No, because I brush it off like in a matter of seconds. Yeah, but you get upset at the moment. Everyone's human and uh, you can get upset for stupid reason. When you look at it after and you realize this is really ridiculous and stupid, why am I fighting over this? I kind of oh. quickly realize that. Well, when was the last time we got upset with each other? We got <laughs> upset building a Christmas tree. Yes, we did. A couple times. But what I learned like um, over these past couple of days, just watching people's like vlogs, hang up decorations and stuff, everyone fight. Not one couple survived like an entire like decoration mania without at least two divorces. We're both stubborn to get our vision out, the lightning sparks. What's something that Max does that annoys you but you don't tell him or you just let him get away with? Same question for Max about Yas. I pretty <laughs> much tell you when you're annoying. All the time. I, I don't keep it in, I'm not the type. Sometimes, yes, you try to blame your fart on Brutus. I do. He can't speak. What's the point of having a dog if you can't blame your farts on him? That's why I want a second puppy. I'm a real saint, and I let it slide. Bullshit. Do you like K-pop? If so, who's your favorite band? Oh my god, I love this question. I mean, we both like generally love Blackpink, like we listen to them a lot. But like visual-wise, I love NCT because... They're so beautiful. I did not really know about K-pop before going to Korea. Over there, they played a K-pop song in the clubs and all the gay boys know by heart the choreography. And that's where the first time I was like very impressed. It was uh, especially Blackpink at the time playing. So I would say this is my favorite band or a boys group. Let's go with BTS or 70. That's how you know you're gay in Korea is when you decide, oh, I feel like I want to learn this dance. Maybe think about it, your sexuality. Especially if it's a girl group. Especially if it's a girl group, and if you're dancing to Blackpink, if you want to be Lisa or Jenny, you're 100% gay. Do you have any advice for long distance couples? Talk to each other every day, even if it's just by text or a quick call before going to bed. Mm -hmm. and stay hopeful, patient, and especially faithful. Yeah, don't cheat, I would say is number one. Number two is have a lot of phone sex. Number two. <laughs> Number three is take a lot of nudes. What's the fun of having a long distance relationship if you're not going to be sexing each other? Mm -hmm. Didn't you appreciate getting nudes while we were long distance? I didn't. I, I saved all of them. I have material for our only fun in the future. Those photos are for your eyes only, Max. They were presents. I bet you shared mine with people. I bet you showed one of your friends my d sometime. <laughs> you know like one of those Reddit forums where they rate people's I put yours on it once. What was my score? 10. <laughs> they like the curve. What curve? <laughs> What's the most embarrassing thing you two ever experienced? So when we just moved into this particular apartment, we didn't have any furniture yet. So we were in Walmart one day and they had a huge sale on all like the outdoor furniture. And we saw one set that was super nice and really cheap. And we were like, we need it. Like we need it to- It was the last it. one. It was the last one. Yeah, so we had to buy it. But we didn't have a car yet and Uber was taking like forever to come. So I went, hold my beer. Yep. <laughs> so what he did, he took a Walmart cart and he wheeled it down all the way back to our apartment. And everyone was looking. <laughs> we looked like little homeless people. Why were we walking around with a Walmart cart? Like he took it back, but I was still really embarrassed. How is it like living with each other? Both POVs. I'm so easy. <laughs> no, you, you said it in the past that I was really easy to live with. Yeah, in the beginning you were. <laughs> in the beginning he was really easy to live with and I was really surprised. Living with someone else is always difficult because you have to adjust with their like weird quirks, their weird activities, and everyone has their own rules, right? And at first you were super easy going. You always <laughs> followed the rules and stuff. But then as of recent, it's been getting harder and harder, especially since lockdown and we're just stuck with each other. Really? I'm noticing more of like the things that, I, that, that, you, that you annoy me about. Like, 
I, well, I, think oh, that's- I know one easy one. You don't close the cabinets ever, the kitchen cabinets. You always leave it open. I would come out of the bathroom and it would be like a freaking poltergeist. I turn on the lights and yeah. I open the door. You turn on <laughs> that's all the I mean. lights. Mm -hmm. And the thing that you do that bothers me is when you play with the thermostate. And <laughs> you change the heat and I'm like, it's supposed to be set at that one. Because you're going to turn on the heat in that room and turn on the AC in the other room. And that drives me nuts. That's just what happens when you turn to a daddy. Mm -hmm. Have you ever worried whether you wouldn't find the right person for you? I'm the kind of person who's very comfortable with being like independent. So I was never worried about never finding the right person. Like even when I was single, like I was just happy and dandy to just be with my friends and living by myself. I wasn't like forcing a relationship, right? It kind of just happened. I just came out of long-term relationship. So for at that point, I was just like, well, let's just live my life and have fun. But it's just at some point after two years, then I miss again being in a relationship. I don't appreciate as much like playing around like I used to do. When I finally met you, it was not forced or anything. It was a good surprise. That's so funny that you said that. Cause I remember when we started dating, you mentioned to me that you had boys waiting for you in Korea if we didn't work out. No, they didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay guys, so we're gonna play a game where we're gonna find out if we really know each other or not. What's your partner's least favorite body part? So what's your least favorite body part? One, two. Yeah, you got it. Yay. Yeah, my bridge here is a little bit crooked. So this is the part you don't like? Yeah, I'd like it to have it straight. One day for your birthday, I'll pay for it. Can, can I go to Korea and get a nose job? I'm gonna send you somewhere cheaper. I'll send you to Chinatown in Toronto. When I was a child, what did I want to be when I grew up? You're not going to get this answer right. I don't think I've ever told you. One, yeah. two, three, go. An astronaut. <laughs> the president. I wanted to be president. That's what I told all my teachers. Name a country that you would love to visit. Oh my god, that's too easy. One, two, three. You got it. I just want to go back with you and visit my friends and show you around, that's why. Because you're a rice queen. No, it's because I love the country, it's a beautiful country. And because you're a rice queen. What was my nickname as a child? Did you have a nickname as a child? I'm not telling them. Huh? I'm not telling Hold on. You should know. I don't think we ever addressed it that. You should know, we've been together for so long. Two, three, go. I, I wrote... The pageant king. <laughs> but you, you told me that you run like those pageant contests. I did, I went to pageants. But no, I did not have a nickname. Wait, well, actually, no, that's not true. I did have a nickname in school. What was in that? elementary school. Everyone called me an electrical pole. Because I was so skinny. That's not a nickname, that's just mean. Is it mean? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. Your nickname now should be Doll. Hey, Doll. Okay. Which of your achievements are you most proud of? Freddy? Yeah. One, two, three, go. Oh, wait! Living abroad and succeeding. Succeeding of finding a job, making friends. Mm -hmm. Once you are able to do that once, you can live anywhere. Yeah, I mean, that's hard. That's not mm -hmm. easy. Like going to a whole new country and then like making a life for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know me well. I do. What is my least favorite homework task? What kind of class did you have in Indonesia? <laughs> the same class as we have here. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> we studied a lot in the jungles. We studied about animals we learn how to like make herbs two three go i said math whoa because <laughs> i know you're not good at math impressive <laughs> wow i knew you will don't mean to be running like stereotypes but as an asian you're not good at math outside of their career what's something your partner considers themselves naturally talented at one two go <laughs> yeah playing drum and i did not you're gonna have to blur that part out. <laughs> You're naturally talented at both. Both? Cool. What is my favorite smell? Okay. One, two, three, go. Hotels and belly candles. No, it's you. Me? You keep telling me I'm smelly. No, I meant the perfume Glossier, you. Oh. You by Glossier. <laughs> but am I close though? You're right, I do. For candles, I love like hotel smells in Bali. But I love, I love the smell of you too. Also, no, the perfume, not you. <laughs> Why stop pointing me? <laughs> stop giving me fake hope, Jess. Every time I go to the gym, I give you a, a, a big wet hug. What is your partner's favorite flavor of ice cream? This one's easy for you. It's not. Mm -hmm. One, two, two three, three, go. Cheesecake. Ah, oh, that's right. <laughs> Anything with nuts. 
because you're gay. The only nuts that I like on the ice cream are pistachio, that's all. Of all the ways there are to die, which one does your partner fear the most? Ooh, one, two, three, go. Yeah, pretty Skin much. Skin alive by a maniac. Well, a <laughs> slow and painful yeah. death. <laughs> exactly, I said this because this is very slow and painful. What is something that we both have in common? Okay, no, yeah. Go. <laughs> Wanted to name our pet shark as a kid, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We had that conversation and it was so random and funny. And I was like, yeah. funny that you mention it because my brother were mucking me for, <laughs> for that for a long time. I wanted to name one of my hamster shark. Mm -hmm. We were destined, we were made for each other because <laughs> we were equally dumb as a kid. We are very dumb kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's it, I guess, for today. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for joining in our game. I hope you guys had a laugh. Please propose us some of the game that you would like to see us play. Leave shark in the comments if you see this. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Wait, we shouldn't kiss. Why? I got a message earlier today of someone saying that we kiss too much and it ruins our videos. Fuck that person. Happy birthday, babe. Again, it's not my birthday.